So here we have the Vauxhall Zafira exclusive on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. Uh, this is as a five seater at the moment. Let me show what it's like with the two rear seats folded up. As you can see you still get a decent amount of boot space at the back even as a seven seater. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom in the middle, you can see the total miles on this car are 12,458. You can change the information displayed above that using buttons on the uh, left-hand uh, indicator stalk uh, for various different bits of fuel economy information, including that digital readout for the speedometer as well. On top of that, this car has got cruise control and speed limiter, both of which are accessed just here. And then on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, we have stereo controls and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. That is, of course, once you set up your phone, and that is done by hitting the phone button in the center and following the instructions on screen. When it comes to music in this car, we've got FM radio, DAB, as you can see on the screen now, and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. This car also has an auxiliary input and a USB input as well, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. You have the main volume for the stereo just here, the CD player at the bottom of that unit, and then you can access the CD player, the auxiliary and USB, and your phone uh, directly off of those buttons there. Below that, we have the air conditioning. So temperature is adjustable with this dial, so hot and cold, and somewhere in between. Fan speed, you adjust on this one, and your fan speed will show up on the screen just there, as well as just here as well. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed within the car. Then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on and then the same again to turn it off when you're ready. We have the cubby hole area just here. If you pull this section down, it reveals a 12 volt charging socket, the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. We have a six speed manual gearbox. This button will turn on or off the parking sensors and this one turns off the traction control for the car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.